Hi everyone! So as you may or may not know, while at university I help make short films and consequently do not do my degree. Recently a handful of films came out and they're open to the public and I'd love for you guys to go and check them out and like and comment and thumbs up or whatever it is you're able to do if you like them. I had a really great time filming them. I spent most of last year holding a boom pole, rigging lighting and watching my first assistant director Bartik do this. Okay, mark it. Quiet on set please. Okay, set. Action! <laughs> But this year I'm moving on up in the world. I'm going to be assistant directing a short film created entirely by women and also I'm going to be producing a film but I'm not allowed to say anything about that yet I don't think and I'm super excited to show you what it's going to look like when it's finished. In the meantime the films that have come out that you can watch are Sniper, if you click on this link uh, it's a three or four minute short film about a sniper. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. I think it's going to be screened in a cinema soon on the 30th of January or something so if you're around I'll post a link in the description below to the event page so you can come and watch it and I'll hopefully be there as well. Also a three part sitcom called Barley Hospital Radio is being released on YouTube. Episode 1 is out now, you can check it out, I'll put a link below. Episodes 2 and 3 will be coming out soon, I've seen them all and they're re it's really really good for like as sitcoms go and it's kind of similar to IT Crowd so if you like that kind of stuff then definitely check it out. As I say it's a three part sitcom about a small radio station in a hospital that has mysterious powers so if that sounds like a cool kind of get up to you, then go ahead. Finally, I'd like to show you some snippets of the behind the scenes video that we filmed while we were doing a short film in Paris. It's called Drift, and it's about a guy in Paris who wants to blow up the Eiffel Tower because its lights kept him up at night. Apparently it's based on a true story. And I think the behind the scenes video is beautiful, so if that's anything to go by, then I'd definitely stay tuned to watch the real thing, which hopefully should be coming out soon. It's still in the post-production stages, but I'll let you know as soon as it comes out, because I'm super excited to see it as well, because I haven't seen any of it. There are a couple of other short films I was involved with, uh, but they're still in post-production, so I'll let you know as and when they come out, and I'll share them with you, and hopefully we'll all like them together. But watch the space, and I'll let you know what's going on. Bye! Bye! Oh yeah. These two have been kissing in three different locations for about 10 minutes now, 15 minutes. And, like, there's this guy apparently videoing him. Do you mean like they're different like shapes? Well because what you do with the camera is, they literally keep going, move position and then keep going again. There's basically like three types of lights, there's tungsten lights.